Welcome, Sanjiang Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home. Today, I'm going to show you how to make fluffy, fluffy dumplings that I would love to serve to Fluffy. Um, but besides, I actually tasted these fluffy dumplings from Night Market in Taipei, Taiwan. It was so delicious. I wanted to recreate for you guys and honestly for myself so I can eat it. Um, but yeah, so the first thing what you need to do is make the dough and this is how I made it. Add two and a half cup of all-purpose flour, half teaspoon of yeast, two teaspoons of sugar in a mixing bowl or standard mixer. Combine dried ingredients first, then add three quarter cup and two tablespoons of warm water. Start to mix everything with your hand or if you're using standard mixer like me, go ahead and turn on to medium speed and let them mix until it becomes a dough. Shape the dough into a bowl, place in a mixing bowl, and cover with plastic wrap. Let the dough rise in a warm place for about an hour. So I already made it right here. It's ready to go because it takes about an hour to set it down. So anyways, my dough is good to go. It's time to make the filling. So for the filling, we will need a half pound of ground pork, and half pound of ground chicken, two teaspoons of chopped garlic, three teaspoons of finely chopped ginger, two green onions that finally chopped, one tablespoon of Shaoxing wine, Chinese cooking wine. You can substitute two dry sherry that you can find at any other regular grocery stores or you can find online. I will put the link down below. Two tablespoons of oyster sauce, one teaspoon of sesame oil, Beautiful fragrance. Lastly, pinch of black pepper. Now, just mix everything together. My feeling is good. I'm going to grab my dough and take the dough out from the mixing bowl. I just use the mixing bowl that, you know, standard mixing bowl is like less dishes to do. Now I'm going to shape the dough again into the circle and then make a hole in the middle like you're doing making a bagel. You know what I mean? And make just one large, what do you call this? Like long, help me out. Piece of dough. Piece of dough. See the dough is so perfect. The texture, I don't need extra flour, but if you do, please go ahead and use it. We don't have to be like exactly same size dough. It's a homemade dumpling, so I'm just gonna eyeball it. Take out the dough, make a little circle. So each one of the dough is about two ounces. So because of there's some yeast in the dough, whenever they're cooked, they're gonna be nice and fluffy, super delicious. Cover the dough so they won't dry out. And I'm gonna work one by one. So go ahead and roll out the dough like a little flat first. And then you start rolling only the edge of the dough because we are going to fold uh, multiple times on top so we can kind of even out the ratio of the dough, the bottom and the side and the top. Otherwise, you will just have like chunk of the dough on top of it. Now I'm gonna start making the dumplings. But um, before that, I'm gonna show you my pan right here. So this is a, um, what inch? Eight inch? Small, my face size, case iron pan. <laughs> Any case iron pan will do. So in here, drizzle some oil, just enough oil, like this. About a tablespoon worth of the filling in the middle of the dough. And then we're gonna start to, you know, fold it. But just use this two thumb and index finger. And the, the other hand, the who, who, <laughs> the hand is supporting the, the other uh, dumpling. Use only the thumb to kind of push down the filling, but here you go. Just keep folding it, just keep folding it, and stretch out. Just like that. Okay. Now, hold on to the pan where we put the oil on it. Cold pan and just keep repeat. Mm -hmm. 
there is like a little too extra dough on top, then you can definitely just go ahead and take it out. Just keep twisting and twisting and twisting and take out like this. Ta-da! You have a perfect cow. Okay, my dumplings are so cute. They are ready to go and cook for us. So the pan, remember, we actually put some oil on it because we are going to steam it first and finishing with frying on the bottom. So nice and crispy on the bottom, but then nice and like fluffy up, like up there, like their head. <laughs> but anyways, now I'm gonna pour a cup of water into the cold pan. This will cover the dumpling about three quarter way. Don't be scared. Now we're gonna turn on the heat to medium high heat and cover, let it boil and then let them keep boil about eight to 10 minutes or until the dumplings are fully cooked. The water might boil over if they are using as a tight pan as what I'm using, but don't be panicked if that happens. Just go ahead and open the lid and let it air out slightly and then just cover it back with a, about an inch or half inch room that open the like, you know, slightly cracks so the air will evaporate or escape so they will fully cook inside. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, while it's cooking, maybe I can put some together for the dipping sauce. So you just need some soy sauce and some vinegar. My homemade chili oil that I just shared this recipe, check it out right here, or I will put the link down below. That's it. I like to put the, the flaky part in it instead of oil part. That's my preference, but you can do whatever you want. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes and you will hear this like sound. This is a point you can actually uncover. Ah! They are so cute! What am I gonna do with them? Eat them. Huh, that's what I'm gonna do. We kind of have to garnish with some sesame seeds. I love using black sesame seeds because that's what the street vendor in Taiwan, they used it. Oh, yes! Are you ready to see the bottom of the dumpling? Oh, look how fluffy it is! Oh my God! And I wanna check the bottom, how everything went. Oh my God. my honor to show you guys this perfectly golden brown bottom dumpling. Ah! I actually want to serve this to Fluffy. The comedian Fluffy, he will love this one. But anyways, it is so delicious. Crispy on the bottom, but the nice and fluffy up there. Mm. Oh, so hot. That was dipping because we're all family here. Yeah. What happened to mine? Mmm. Mmm, it's so good. Mmm. I think you should let them cool off a little bit. Mm hmm. But that texture of that dough is so delicious. I'm eating with my damuji, mm. Korean pickled radish. Mmm. Super hot. Mmm. Woo! You did a good job with it. It's like. Kung Fu Panda style. Mm. Oh, you just pop them in your mouth like that. It's a cooler one. <clears throat> <laughs> you should see your face. Are, do you even like it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're like, oh, like you're in pain. Mm. I love how fluffy the dough is mm. and how crispy on the bottom. It's mm. so good. Oh. Literally the best of both worlds texture. Mmm. Mmm. Hot, but oh my god. Oh. The cold one tastes just as good, but cold. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Mmm. That is just a little bundle of happiness. Where did you go, Jacob? He's yeah. grabbing the colder one. Mm. I don't want to take everybody. Make sure I think I don't want to. Like... really good food. Guys, if you liked my 
Oh, look at that. Fluffy bao bun recipe. Nam bao lần nào? Oh, dumpling. Yeah. Guys, if you like my fluffy dumpling recipe, please give this video a thumbs up because it deserves it. It's so deserves it. So easy to make too. And subscribe my channel for more inspirations and ideas of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching us today. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Song Kyung Longas. Jacob Longas. Hanyo Kim. And this is Asian at Home. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. Dig in. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, so good. I can just open a dumpling restaurant. Is it these as good as the ones you had in Taiwan? <laughs> Actually, better. <laughs> <laughs> these are better? Mmm. Mm mm-hmm. It's so good. This makes me forget about my plant-based diet. What plant-based diet? Yeah, what plant-based diet? Exactly.